Hey everybody, it's Jason with Parallel Reality coming back with you here today with an article from MRC Newsbusters, America's Media Watchdog, dated August 27th, and says PolitiFact pleases PBS. Hands down, Democrat convention much more factual than RNC, which tells me that PolitiFact either did not watch the uh, the DNC, or the RNC, I should say, or they're completely in their pocket and they are just ideologically compromised. So let's go ahead and find out which one or both it is. So it says PBS, who really kind of shouldn't be trusted in the first place, and their independent fact-checker partners at PolitiFact can agree the Democratic convention was much more factual than the Republican convention. So Democrats didn't just corner the market on joy and electricity, but apparently on facticity. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. But all right, there it is. It says PolitiFact editor-in-chief Katie Sanders, who is this woman in the picture you see below, has appeared on Thursday's news hour before Kamala Harris had even spoken. <laughs> Okay, so it's not even done yet. And she's like, it's much more, you know, the DNC is much more truthful than the RNC. So she did not appear during the primetime convention coverage to referee the proceedings as she did during the GOP convention. So she's, what is she, like one of those fact checker people like Daniel Dale that they dust off out of the closet when they need someone to quote unquote fact check something. So this is anchorman Jeff Bennett requested a premature endorsement of how the Democrats exceeded the Republicans. And Jeff Bennett said, you were with us at the Republican National Convention as well. When you compare the RNC to the DNC, which gathering has shown the greatest fidelity to the facts? So then Katie Sanders here says, certainly there's been some exaggerations this week about or real, maybe really broad claims. But I think it's hard to compare anyone with the amount of falsehoods that you hear at a campaign rally from former President Trump. Can you name what those are? This is, this is one of the things the left likes to do is say, Republicans lied. And then no one challenges them to say, okay, about what? It's, I'm not saying Republicans don't. I'm not saying President Trump does because he does exaggerate things, certainly. But they never tell you what it is. They're just like, he did. And then people on the left just go, Trump's a liar. And it's like, but about what? So let's keep reading our quote here. It says, if you remember his speech, we were doing a lot of fact-checking in the moment of things we have heard again and again and again, such as, once again, no examples. So I think that is challenging to stack up against any other gathering really for the facts. So with Kamala Harris' speech tonight, which again, remember, hasn't happened yet, I'm curious if she's going to continue a trend to say to stay broad, stay a little vague, narrow, focus more on her biography versus going into specific claims. We will just have to see. Their campaign speeches have not had a similar style, to say the least, as former President Trump. Yes, because she's an idiot. Donald Trump can actually form coherent sentences and not do word salads. <laughs> So there's your difference. As we already knew this from the PolitiFact website, as Alex Christie reported after the Democrat convention ended, they gave Republicans three times as many false ratings while giving Democrats three times as many true ratings. It was starker with the candidates. Trump was on the false side 89% of the time, and Harris only 33%, in part because they ruled on Trump 33 times and on Harris only three times, so 33 to 3. So yeah, of course you're going to see more things uh, going against Trump, but was Trump false 89% of the time. I guarantee you what they did with Trump was nitpick and kind of say like if Trump was like today, I can't do a Trump impression, but today like the sky looked very blue and it's like, and then PolitiFact will be like, well, when the sun was setting, when Trump said that it was different shades of like blue and purple and orange and red. So fact check false. They, that's what they do with Trump. And then Kamala could be like one plus one is banana. And they'll be like, well, you know, technically she might be right, but you know what? I guess we have to give her a false. So you can totally see the difference between those two things. So it says the fact checkers have slammed Trump as pants on fire four times in the last two weeks or so. We're up to 197 pants rants. <laughs> That's funny. Since PolitiFact started checking Trump. It says Kamala Harris has zero pants on fire rulings ever. And then see, this is where you know that PolitiFact is totally compromised because that's not humanly possible with some of the things that she said. It says ever, so it says she hasn't had no pants and fires rulings ever. Harris has 52 fact checks in total, 25 on the true side, 23 on the false. So more true than false, four half true in the middle. So it says Trump has 1,042 fact checks. Get out the calculator. That's about 20 times as many fact checks as Harris. He has 119 on the true side and 798 on the false side. Is there a link here? I would one day like to actually go through those and be like, is that actually false? Or like, what are they nitpicking? So this is okay. He's 11.4% on the true, 76 and a half on the false. He has more pants and fire ratings than true or mostly true combined. And I think that's the end. So yeah, I just, I just wanted to basically bring up this article. It's just another way to show that there is extreme media bias here. PolitiFact is not 
an organization that can be trusted. They think they are. I mean, the name is PolitiFact. Should we pull it a lies or something like that? Pull it a false, maybe? Um, so, yeah, I, and especially if they're trying to tell you that Kamala Harris is some sort of truth teller over Donald Trump, that's when you can just basically point and laugh at them and do like the – insert here the uh, famous J. Jonah Jameson laugh from J.K. Simmons in the Spider-Man movie. Um, I mean, that's basically all you need to do is the reaction to it. So <sighs> let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.